All right, yo, <coughs> fucking Shine and Sneeko had a conversation. So, you know, I had to give my two, two pence on the situation. So we're going to see what I say. And probably not going to watch this whole video because it's long and it's pressed for time right now. But fuck it. I'm even going to speed it up, actually, slightly. But, uh, yeah, I'll probably watch like half. And then, obviously, if the video does well, I'll watch the other half of it. But, yeah. What would you do if I couldn't cook? Get you some cooking classes and call your mother and say you failed. That was very I'm Nico, far. and I'm here to find love. I don't think I'm going to find it, but it's going to be a good way for me to exercise my Why charm. Why not, bro? What's wrong with Shayan, huh? date. We'll see how it goes and see if I'm really misogynistic. This is why I'm on Rumble. Because like a good what woman. I say is not safe enough for you two, but I think I can manage her grilling. I deal with a lot more Haram every single day on a panel of 10 Haram women. This is nothing. This is, I'm trained. I'm ready to go. She can ask me whatever she likes. I'm an open book. I'm one of the most honest people I know. So honest, I think that's why they had to ban me on YouTube. Sniper out now on all platforms. No, it's because you was being a bit of a prick, but I hear that. Good morning. Hello, how are you? I'm great. Nice yeah, to meet give you. Me a hug. Okay. Great to meet you. Nice you look great. You. I wasn't knowing what to expect. Thank you. You look nice look yourself. Nice. I put on a, a good shirt. Yeah, it's a very nice shirt. Oh, he's handsome. And he looks nice. My apologies for being late. It's okay. Better late than never. Essex is a bit far. I did not think we were going to come all the way here. I was in London. Oh, really? Yeah. Essex. It's good to be back. I haven't seen grilling in a long time. Yes. Well, we're back. We're back. So, Cheyenne. Nice to meet you. Sneeko. Nice to meet you, Sneeko. I actually think she looks really good. I like her hair, her outfit. So, Sneeko, tell me about yourself. What do you want to know? Um, let's start with your hobbies and interests. Hobbies and interests. I'm working all the time recently, so there's not a lot of time to do anything extracurricular. I consider this fun. I enjoy yeah. talking to... Dating? Well, I enjoy talking to beautiful women, but yeah. it's still work so at the same I. time. Oh, okay. I'm always working. Always working. Always, yeah. Mostly. So where did you come from? I grew up, uh, I was born in New York City. So what's New York like compared to London? It's very similar. It's, oh, it? it's kind of identical in a lot of ways. So it's getting infected twinsy. by wokeness quite a bit. Infected by wokeness? It's getting infected. What do you mean? All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's see, yeah, it's too much, it's too much, it's too much. <laughs> it's too much, I can't really give my input. All right, say that. I think I'm woke. Do you? Yeah, I think I'm woke. I'm conscious. Big red flag. Uh yeah, you can't. I get what she means in it, but calling yourself woke is crazy. I'll be real. Uh, giant, giant red flag. I'm not really sure what she means by that word. People always use that word in different scenarios, yeah, but that's has uh, negative connotations kind of nowadays. What is wokeness to you? Wokeness is using weakness as a virtue. It's finding power and being a victim. God. I wouldn't say that. It's opinionated. But... Okay. It's just virtue signaling. So blaming things about for racism. Blaming everything on sexism, on misogyny, yeah. on other circumstances. People like to latch on to identity politics to give them justification for where they are in life. Oh, okay. It's going to be a long day. Or make climate change their personality because they need to feel like they're oppressed. It's, it's everybody wanting to think that the system is against them when the system is actually giving us these ideas to just keep us distracted and keep us fearful and always yelling about nothing. That's See, I was with him on the first bit, you know what I'm saying? I was like, you know what, there's actually some truth in that. But then it started to go down a different rabbit hole. And it's like, okay, you're losing me, bro. You know what I'm saying? London, that's New York. But at the same time, like, everyone has a different reality. My experience as a woman is very different. Yeah, by the way, I got hay fever in it. That's why I'm all, like, fucking wiping my nose and shit. To yours as a man. So, of course, I might call it misogynistic and sexist. But... Latching onto that and blaming the world for being misogynistic will hold you back more than however misogynistic the world actually is. If you believe these ideas, your thoughts and beliefs, they end up emulating and creating your reality. Yeah, you, you manifest it, right? So if you. Uh, you know, I hear what you're saying in the sense that, like, sitting down and complaining isn't going to do anything, but also, like, what else are you supposed to do to make change, bro? You know what I'm saying? You have to make other people aware. That's all you can do, bro. Like, they, they can't go to the people in power or whatever and be like, change the way how people feel about this. You have to make the people aware. You know what I'm saying? You have to explain your, like, uh, where you stand on something, the way how certain, certain structures 
in society has affected you and the people that you associate with in your community. And um, yeah, you make people aware and make, make change, bro. But you walk into a room and you sit down here thinking that I'm misogynistic or that the world is oppressing you. What's going to happen is you're going to see more of it and you're going to be thinking that and the world's going to respond to that. I don't have a victim mentality, but it's really hard to not let things burn you a little. Like what? Experiences, for example, even dating, right? I, I consider myself a very nice, homely girl. I would go on a date, but and it's like I could be the woman that you want, but it's still not enough for a man that's not ready. So then that would initially be a bad experience for me. So then say if I'd done that and I'd gone off into the world and done that with 10 other men, 10 more men on body count that is an issue for you, men, so then it's like, where do we stand as women? because there's a lot of good women that have the same morals and ethics that I have that are going into the world, and it's like, if a man's not ready, he won't wife you. What does that have to do with misogyny? If I'd done that with like 20, 30 men, you'd be quick to say, your body counts too much. And then it starts to have this battle with the sexes with a double standard and the behavior and the way men just- all right. <laughs> I'm, all right, cool. I'm trying not to be that guy that's pausing and just dissecting, because they're having a conversation, isn't it? You know what I'm saying? So it's like, sitting there dissecting every little thing that they're saying is dumb. But what I always say to people, yeah, is, bro, if you're, if, like, you can't be mad at that, bro. You know what I'm saying? People have their their standards and their beliefs on what makes a good woman or a good man or whatever. If that's a low body count, then that's fine. You know what I'm saying? But, like, you can't be mad at people feeling that way. It's literally, like, like a um, natural... It's natural selection, bro. It's eliminating people that are incompatible with you straight away, bro. Like, if there's men that don't feel comfortable with your body count, that's wiping away so many men that you're incompatible with. So it's a good thing. You know what I'm saying? I don't feel like it's a bad thing. Like, so... But obviously, I get it. Like, you want to get that stigma out of people's heads. But it's like the type of man who feel that type of way about body counts, you probably wouldn't even want to be with them anyway. You know what I'm saying? So... To respect women for wanting to be as liberated as a man sexually so you want to have as much sex as a guy no but i'm saying like whether i did or whether i didn't because of the way the world is and the way it views things how do we ha keep it fair then you well know? double standards exist for a reason it doesn't have to be oppression if this was an actual restaurant in this scenario i'd be paying regardless like no okay. matter what no matter how the date went even if you stormed off even if you thought it was a misogynist whatever i'm still paying and I'm not going to complain about that double standard. That's just, they exist for a reason. We have different roles that we're supposed to play. Double standards exist for a reason. It has a negative connotation. Okay, but just because they exist for a reason doesn't mean they exist for the right reason, bro. Come on now. You know what I'm saying? And just because you don't complain don't mean that countless other men don't do, like, don't complain either. Like, so, but obviously you can only speak for your personal experience, isn't it? But because of female ego but just get over but it yeah he's trying to make it like it's a female thing like men real men they they fucking like they um accept accept the double standards women they just complain da, da, da. bro man them complain about it all the time from on twitter youtube all these things women too you know, like it's just we have different <laughs> roles and it's extremely important that we play those roles this is what i'm supposed Why? to do yeah. a woman should keep her body count as low as possible really what is it with men and wanting, like, a woman that is basically a virgin? So, what's your body count? Yeah, it's mad weird Sniper stuff. out now on all platforms. <laughs> what's yours? No, we're not doing that. Oh, okay. that's it. Should a man pay the bill? I've paid the bill, <laughs> but I don't mind paying a bill, if that makes sense. I don't mind splitting Sorry, it. people. But I think it's nice. I do like traditional values in that aspect, where if a man is a protector and a provider, then look after me, you know, then pay the bill. All right, cool, but, but you can't pick and choose what traditional values you want. So what expectations do you have of men? <laughs> I, don't, I have really low expectations now. I'll be honest, it's doing this show. It's changed your expectations of yeah, men? Yeah, so they're very little Get now. me on the can show. You, to... Listen, Shan, get me on the show, bro. We can really talk about some real shit. Make more than you, do you have to be taller yeah, than you? Yeah, to be fair, you don't have to make... In an idle situation, I would love for a man to earn more money than me, be a protector, be a provider, but unfortunately, the way... A lot of people see the world and society sees the world with the men that are the high earners. They can't fit what I want. From what, what do you want? I, it, I don't really comes, know. So when it comes to like the provider, protector, you don't need to be a millionaire. I just want someone that can come home, look after his kids, kiss his wife and give me love and then play, like, play with the kids on the weekend and just have a nice life. But in reality, men that want to 
provide for you are the people that are out working, that go away on work trips, that have side women and all that, and I don't want that. I don't think she knows what she wants. What she needs is a man to say, no, this is how it's going to be. But to find that guy who will do that for her is going to be difficult. Maybe it's going to be difficult, but it's not, it's not like an unseen thing. Like, I'm sure that there's plenty of men that fill that role pretty well. Like, maybe not perfectly, but pretty well, bro. So, like, I feel like it's, it's, it's reasonable for, for her to keep her options open. Especially, like, with the, like, type of man that she's speaking about. Like, it's not crazy out of, out of, like, the ordinary thing. You want that guy, you just don't want to know about the extracurricular activities. No, but it's not not knowing. I just want someone that's going to be about me. I, it's just not a nice thought. Because it's like... So don't think got, about it. What do you mean, don't think about it? No, it's not don't think about it. If you've got my mind, my body, my heart and my soul, like, why should you then just, like, disregard it and be out here in the club with other women? I'm disregarding it by not telling you. Honestly, all this show does is make me have very low expectations on men. <laughs> People always find out, and that's not nice. So it's like, you can be very powerful. Then don't actively seek it out. But it just happens, and this is the thing. Women come to women as a, wom as a woman. I'm coming to you as a woman. Is this your man? Ignore them. Those are always jealous... Those are always the girls that are like just trying to, they're jealous that you have a good relationship with the man that you're happy with. You can't listen to other women because they don't give good advice to each other. A lot of women are extremely miserable and misery loves company. They don't want to see you succeed because women get extremely jealous when they see women get married. So they're going to want to bring you to the club and do the same garbage they're doing. Um, girls that go and like, as a woman, it's never a happy woman. Because she's hurt. She's also hurt because she was sold dreams by men that wanted to have their cake and eat it. Oh, uh, yep, except a man that cheats on you, basically. That's not what men are going to say to the men. Men are going to tell each other how to have a happy relationship and how to act properly. And yeah. like, this is my problem with these discussions, though. They're so, like, men this, women that. Oh, but as a man, but as a woman, da 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 And it's like, bro, honestly, I don't feel like there's that much of a difference between men and women. Like, honestly, like, obviously, we, 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 uh, provide different roles in society, and it just like that's just how our, that's, that's the nature of our communities. That's how they're set up in it. We provide different roles. But with that being said, like, I literally feel like there's a spectrum of masculinity and femininity. And as a man or a woman, you can fall on any part of that spectrum it doesn't matter like so yeah like even her saying oh all these men they just want to have their cake and eat it everyone wants to have their cake and eat it bro <laughs> everyone wants to have their cake and eat it, eat it like these women they want to fucking they don't want to do the the traditional stuff but they want to have a traditional man you know what i'm saying the uh like <laughs> if, if 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 you want the type of man that's gonna fucking have these traditional values or whatever you can't fuck around bro you can't be fucking here and fucking there and fucking everywhere like you just can't you know what i'm saying and that's the unfortunate truth of, about that like i just feel like it in order to be successful in dating you just need to find somebody who uh it just has a high level of compatibility with you bro like all of these extra like standards and shit that you've been taught are just irrelevant you know what i'm saying like you you need to personalize your relationship between like all right th this idealistic model that you might have in your mind may just not be feasible with the type of person that you're getting to know they might be the perfect person for you but you need to personalize the rules and make sure that it it works for you too you know what i'm saying instead of having these like these rules set in place that you want to have before you even met the person that you're going to get with. It don't make sense. Women are just going to tell each other, yeah, well, yeah, but women are just going to tell each other, leave him. He's, a, he's doing this. Look through his phone. Why shouldn't women be allowed or want to have a man that's just loyal to them? You know? Loyalty doesn't have to be sex for men. It's not. Here we go again, another misogynist. You, it's your body, like why can't it matter to you as a man? But you can't apply the way you view sex to the way men view sex, because we will never see it the same way. We don't see it as like we're losing our purity. Our purity is not attached to sex the same way a woman's is. Yeah, yeah if but... anything, our ego is attached to sex. You know what I'm saying? And like, this is what I'm saying, like, these behaviors 
our socialized behavior, isn't it? You know what I'm saying? If you grow up in an environment where people believe that it's like, like having sex with bare bitches is what it means to be a man, then that's what you're going to do as a man because that's what you think being a man is, fam. You know what I'm saying? So, like, you can't, you can't be mad at the way that men are if that's how we've, like, been socialised. You know what I'm saying? But that's because men put the purity on us as women, so I feel like men give us this pressure. Do we give... Nah, I think women put as a whole. attachment on that purity just as much as men do. It's not What's men the first women, thing bro? a woman <laughs> says to insult another woman? Yeah, no. You, we all do it. You... Because deep down, we all know that that's how a woman's value is measured. It's just Why? <laughs> trying to find the balance. Now, what makes a good woman? A good woman is provides a spiritual balance. I'm a very busy guy. I have a flight later on. I have a lot of businesses. I have a lot of people attacking. And I have some enemies, stuff like that. And so there's a lot of pressure. This guy wants to be Andrew Tate so bad, bro. <laughs> I need a woman that could provide that balance and just that she can pray for me, me that loves me and is happy on. and is around and, and she presents herself well. It's, it's not that complicated. It's not that hard to please a man. Cook. It's not that clean, hard to please you, buddy. Smile. Happy relationship is that simple. I feel men don't validate women's emotions enough because it's like, listen, I can do all that for you. I can bring you peace. I can pray for you. I can make you have a really great, comfortable life. But if you're not giving me peace because I'm unsettled because you're out, you're here. Why is that fine. bringing you? Why is that unsettling you? Why is he playing dumb for? <laughs> like, where if you're off out all the time, like, where are you providing for Not you? all the time. No, but I'm saying, but if you are on business and you've got a hectic life, there's no peace for me. I'm just at home, you know, because if you're not there, there's not that emotional need. Because women, we're emotional. We need that. So how often do you need me to check in on you? Well, if I'm your woman, every day. Every day? Yeah. Yeah, morning before morning and night. Yeah. Call you in the morning, call you night. It's not a problem. But do you not see what, where I'm getting at? I don't know Rather what just happened there. Children, and you're not there. Is that fair? How often do you want me to be there? No, but that's, I'm asking you. It's uh, ideally a good balance. A man needs to be very. But is that like a mad common thing though? That man them just like just fuck off <laughs> and just leave their kids, bro. Leave their girl and their kids. Like, is that mad common? Like, obviously, I know it happens here and there, especially like with these like a uh, very. Uh, very like business centric people but like in real life in normal real life does that really happen i don't know if that really happens bro <laughs> present in his kid's life at a certain age from like ages zero to five the dad doesn't really need to be around you're going to that's emasculate <laughs> me if i'm there all the time as a dad that's a lie i mean i'm changing diapers and the baby's crying and then you're upset and you're emotional and i'm in that house environment with all this fat all these toys and you're like really big and bloated. I'm gonna be emasculated in that time. I don't need to be around from zero to five. Why is that emasculating, bro? Looking after you, like, why the fuck is that emasculating? Like, what's he talking about? I have that much. I'll show up. But you do. What do I need to do? Do you want me to change diapers? Yes. Why? Because it's your child. It's yours Facts. too. <laughs> so I'm not. I'm not saying. I'm Who do you think is you. better at changing a diaper, me or you? 100. percent It is a woman. Like naturally. So why women. do you want me to be doing it if you're better? <laughs> because it's like it's like take the slack. Like we're raising a child. We're raising children together. It's supposed to be a unit. If the core value of a traditional household is men and women together, so we're raising children it's together. Who's it's paying your, for the house? Listen. <laughs> Everyone needs to pay their role, Rev. And I've seen a lot of terrible mums, yeah? Whatless mums that don't know nothing. So this whole, like, naturally women just... Like, bro. Like, it's these ca like categorising people into these two massive, like, massive categories is just dumb. Like, there's fucking... How many? Like, 8 billion people on Earth? To just split that in half and be like four billion people, they're all like this, and four other billion people, they're all like this. It's 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 ridiculous, bro. <laughs> That's it. It's ridiculous. So I will go out. I feel like a much more effective way. Sorry, I'm pausing so much, but this is pissing me off. <laughs> Fucking a more, much more effective way of categorizing people, it would be by culture. I would say. I feel like culture plays such way more of a, of a role in a, how a person turns out than fucking like if they're by like their biology if they're a man or a woman like 
out and get the money to provide for the home and provide for yeah, you. you. No, but it, regardless, whether you're providing for me, this now is about the children that we're raising together. If a man's not in a child's life, or especially, for example, a female, women tend to be more hypersexual if their father isn't present in the life. Does that not change anything? Would that not make you want to, as a man, be a father and step up and be in that family unit? Of course I will be there. But from zero to five, I don't need to be there all the time. I don't even think I should live at the home. No, no, now you took it too far. <laughs> That's I need ridiculous. Somewhere. I don't That's want to smell the poop bro. and the diapers. You and actually, the... No, I don't want to trip over Don't it. take on that responsibility, my bro. <laughs> Toy while I'm walking to the bathroom. You're deluded, mate. Yeah, so that's you crazy. Have, you wouldn't be ready that's for kids. If you do, if you wouldn't want to be there and see all these beautiful moments, like a vital moment of watching your child smile for the first time, watching your child take a first step, that's something you've created. And I feel like, as a man, that should be the most powerful thing that you've done. You've created a life. You know that that's your name. That's one thing you've got. You raise a child. You have them in your name, your family name, especially if you have a son, and you don't want to be there and watch their first moments. I want to be I there. I think that's poor. But you could record it. No. no, I'll be there. That's I'll be there ridiculous. Two days out of the week, but like every single day, just baby. Listen, clearly these are just like people speak. Well, him. This is him speaking as somebody who obviously doesn't have kids in it. You know what I'm saying? But as somebody who has a child, bro, I feel like people underestimate how fucking life altering having a kid is. Like it changes everything. It changes everything. I just like. Me being a dad, I don't understand how man them just leave women to just do everything because that shit is so, like, <laughs> it's so overwhelming. Like, there's nothing that even comes close. There's nothing else in life that even comes close to raising a kid, bro, and how overwhelming it is for him. You know what I'm saying? But, yes, hopefully when he has a you, he gets brought back down to reality, you know? God, this is, this ain't it. He's crying and it's, it's... I am going to lose what makes me able to provide for the house and for you and for the kids. We're not gonna both breastfeed this baby at the same time. You know deep down it needs to be every day. Like, why wouldn't it be every day? We could compromise. No, it's not compromise. It would be you need to be in the house every day. You in the house with your woman raising your children together. Because I'm not being funny, there's enough men on the world that aren't present in their kids' life, and I think it's an absolute shit show, if I'm honest with you. <laughs> look at all the single women, Facts. look at all the single mothers. You know, I'm not saying you're going to be no, single. No, but, but that's how it is. What, what's the point? There is no benefit. Listen, like, as single women, as single mothers, they deal with a lot of slack, you know, and they deal with it. They raise the kids, and it's like there is no difference to a woman that is in a relationship or a marriage raising her children if she's by herself, if her husband's living in a separate apartment. She's basically a single mother. Three days out of the week. Honestly, <laughs> Why are they like this? It's more Fuck impactful you know. if the dad shows up say man, no, and gets not to be his best self when he's there. Yeah, he's there. He's there. You're saying it. These are your own words. When he's there. So what is the point? You're in the club. You're in business. You're doing that. And I, I don't get say anything it. about As the club. As a business provider, I get that. Be the provider. I'm be saying the from the ages zero to five, being there every day is detrimental. At the Google Guide stage, I don't need to be there all the time. It's just that in that's what way is there's it no reason for me to be bro. there other than for her to make it fair. If I'm living with my girlfriend all the time, we're gonna end up hating each other. That's where the resentment actually builds. If we have separate apartments and then we get to miss each other and then we get to actually be our best selves when we show up and see each other. No, well, maybe you shouldn't have kids with somebody who's fucking, who you can't stand to be in this, like live together with, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like living with anyone is annoying. Like living with your own parents is annoying. Living with your siblings is annoying. Living with anybody is annoying as fuck. You know what I'm saying? But like, that's not an excuse to not to not to not be there for your kid, especially if, as someone who has traditional values like you. I would never expect you to have this perspective on this, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is crazy. You went, the relationship lasts longer because you get to miss each other. That's a very important part of maintaining a relationship. It's about unity, it's about raising them. It's a, that, that's all it is. I don't even need to argue it anymore. That's what it's about. Yeah, that's crazy. What are your red flags? Red flags at a woman, if she doesn't respect her father. That's number one. Number two, if she has a high body count. I think if it What's 10 more minutes? surpasses <laughs> half of her age, actually just over five. Nico, <laughs> have you ever been in love? I have, yeah, yeah, many times. Many times? Many times. How were those experiences for you? That was a very therapeutic question, but they were good. I think it's a, it's a good learning experience. The difference between a man and a woman falling in love is 
you notice when a woman falls in love and it doesn't work, it ends up kind of wearing down her soul. Trauma as a man can help build you and make you stronger and help you navigate the world better because in my experience, I learn from actual experience. I have to go through it in order to really understand not to do something. I think a lot of men are like that. But whereas a woman, if she goes through a traumatic experience, if she goes through a terrible relationship, if she has her heart broken, then that changes her view and makes her more cynical going into the next relationship. But this, like, this is what I'm trying to say. Like, everything that you advocate against is actually pushing things forward and making this be less of an issue. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like it's the big reason why a lot of women uh, have issues with um, getting over relationships or, like, with heartbreak or whatever is because, like, that's something that they're chasing from when they're kids, bro. Like... Oh, I'm going to be a princess, I'm going to get married, and we're going to be together forever. And, you know, like, this kind of, like, uh, they're kind of they're, they're kinda, uh, chasing a fantasy. They're chasing a fantasy, innit? You know what I'm saying? And this is why it's so important for women nowadays to uh, get their individuality back, bro. Like, and, and really, like, focus on, like, so much women are focusing on their self and doing shit that they feel like it's really going to make them happy and not... Der like deriving their self worth from being a fucking a wife or like a fucking like a a glorified housemaid. You know what I'm saying? Like, so yeah, it's good, man. Really? I think it's their way around. I think when men are in love and they go through heartbreak, I feel like they actually don't come back from it. What makes you say that? From experiences, from conversations, from people, from from the way. Men are. Guys that are heartbroken, they're in the gym That's right facts. now. Everybody, they're starting a business right now. They're hurts, trying to bro. improve. They don't want to ever let a woman control their ego like that again. That's what I mean. Like, men shut off, like, from love. So if you have your heart broken, then it's like they do go militant, and it does probably make them become a better man, but then they're not open to love, and then they do this whole... They don't want to then be loyal to just <laughs> Don't trust men. bitches. They want their options. <laughs> that is kind of true for, for me. My first relation, like, in high school, I was... All romantic, lovey-dovey, simping, giving her flowers, writing her poems. It's not simping, though. It is simping. I think why being is romantic it simping? is not simping. That doesn't make you a simp. Like, why, why, why should it be called simping? If you're showing love and affection to someone you love, that's not simping. Like, you're not doing too much. But showing... respect and love and attention has to be earned from a woman. You can't just give it to her thinking that the more I love her, the more she's going to love me. It has yeah. to be recipro reciprocated. I think this goes for a lot of guys. It's not heartbreak. It's just understanding female nature. If I'm writing all these poems and giving her all these flowers and there's another guy out there who's not giving her attention and is maybe more accomplished or she, she wants attention from that guy because of what he is. If I'm giving you all the attention from the jump, then you have nothing to work with. No, no, no. See, this is where men don't fuck up. See, it's not, it's not the fact that my man's not giving her attention. It's the fact that my man has something that the woman finds attractive. Do you know what I'm saying? The, the woman just don't find you as attractive as the other person, bro. I'm sure if my man came up to her with fucking flowers and everything, like, it would be great. It would be all sunshine and rainbows, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't have to look at that situation to where you did the most and somebody didn't do anything and they got the girl and make you t make that turn you into, like, a fucking, like, villain or, like, never show emotion to a girl or never show... Like, it's just... <laughs> bro, it's ridiculous, man. For. Women want to work for attention. And it's like, like at this point, you're not even being your true self. You're like, you're being mad manipulative. You're trying to like reserve, reserve uh, a certain side of you for um, for when you lot actually get together or whatever. You're using this as a tactic to kind of get. A, I'd man them need to stop doing that, bro. Be yourself, um, like actually be yourself around a woman and allow that to to be the thing that attracts them because when you not get into an actual relationship she's gonna know who you are already fam the reason why a lot of relationships break down because people put on a facade before they get together just as so, much yeah. as men do so me writing all these poems and love cards and everything it kind of it's a turn off if she doesn't have to get <laughs> something at the same if she doesn't have to work for it you know, so some women just want love you know it's not always about working for it and I put myself in that situation like I've never been the kind of woman to want the man that doesn't want me. You know, I want... Yeah, like, who wants that? No, I'm not. You don't even know me, so yes, I would. 
You know, I'm the woman that wants stability. I'm the woman that wants love. Maybe yeah. I'm naive and maybe it is a fairy tale, but that's the way that I see the world. Show me that you want me, fight for me. The moment I know you've got my respect in the sense of I will ride for you, I will root for you, I will fight for you. But if you're not even showing me that you care, why? Why, why should I? The relationship that you're describing, you're going to get bored of this guy. You want a guy to be with you all the time. You don't have a lot of expectations. You just want bored? a man that loves you. And if you're not having to compete for his attention to some extent, if you're getting all of his attention and he's always available, both of you are going to get bored. And then you're going to end up cheating. You're going to leave. But that could just happen regardless, bro. Like, like why are you trying to find all of these taxes to... Uh, all of these fucking tactics, yeah, to, like, make make the relationship last longer. Like, bro, I'm I'm somebody who, like, wholeheartedly believes, yeah, sometimes things just make sense in the moment, and then after a while, they just might not make sense anymore. And that's okay, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, obviously, my man's religious now. Obviously, when there's, like, other religious ideologies involved and other cultural cultural ways of living involved obviously it gets a bit techy in it but that's just what happens in life bro like you can you can if if you want to make it work you can make it work you know what i'm saying you can make it work bro but you don't have to do all this weird like oh so i'm only gonna see you two days a week because you're gonna get bored of me if i don't like that bro you sound mad insecure bro when i say competing for your attention i don't i don't mind competing if it's your work your business i'm not competing with another woman for you so if your time is not with me then have it be at work but it's not going to be for another woman i'm not competing over not one other woman man. but if your man is not getting attention from other women you're going to become unattracted to him no no way he needs to be desired by other Boy. women or else it's just you're going to get bored have you ever woman. thought the fact that it's women are actually desire men that are good men being a father is a massive listen any woman that's securing within their self they're never gonna make their self get dragged into this to this little game that he's talking about about how yeah like they need to be decided by other women so that they won't get bored and like it's just it just stinks bro it stinks of insecurity and yeah man but um i'm gonna leave this here just gonna make this a part one i'll do the rest that another time i'm just pressed for time right now uh probably won't have no videos for a couple of days because i'm doing a podcast tomorrow and mad busy on the weekend but uh yeah man uh fucking obviously like comment subscribe all of that uh chat to you lot in a bit in a bit